Hello and welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to be looking at installing and using profiles with Adobe Photoshop Elements 14. Now before this video, I assume you've already followed the instructions for changing your printing preferences. So you've got the correct quality and paper settings and you've disabled the automatic uh, printer profile in your printing preferences. So the first thing that we're going to do is install our profile. Today we're using the Ricoh SG3110DN with City Ink Express paper and the name of your profile will probably be different unless you're using this exact setup. The profile will either be on a CD with your printer or it might have been sent to you by email and if you prefer to follow paper instructions we do send out PDF instructions with all of our profiles as well. So to start with, we're going to right click on the profile and select install profile. Now, no egg timer or loading screen pops up for this. It is instant. So as soon as we've clicked on install profile, we can move on to the next step, which is to open up Photoshop elements. There we go. Now this is a fresh install. I've not chosen any non-standard options in here yet. So we'll go to file, new, and open up a blank file. Doesn't matter what it is for this because we're just setting up the profiles. Next, we'll click on File, Print. There it is. And when the print dialog decides to load, there we go. We can select our printer from the drop down box here. We're using our example Rico printer today. And all the settings are absolutely fine there. Next, we're going to click on more options down at the bottom here. And this other box has popped up. So we'll click on color management. And for the color handling, we want Photoshop elements to manage the colors and to decide what gets sent to the printer. Next, our printer profile is the one we've just installed down at the bottom here. It's the Ricoh SG3110DN with City Ink Express paper. Rendering intent as relative colorimetric, that's absolutely fine. We'll click OK there. And now in order to save these settings so that they're all the same next time we come to print, we do need to click print. Depending on your print settings, it may spit out a blank sheet of paper or it may not. So we'll just click print there. And wait again for it to load. And that is everything done. So next time we print any file from uh, Photoshop Elements, it will automatically apply that printer profile. So there's no need to change any of those options again. Thank you very much.